Um, it's First Thessalonians chapter 4. I'm skipping all the way down to verse 11, so I can't give you the full context, but I'm going to kind of just highlight a principle. It says, make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business, working with your hands just as we instructed you before. The reason why I love this, like, and I had, I had wrote it down a long time ago. I said, the older you get, and now you're getting older, so you're probably going to see it too. You're getting older, so you're going to see it too. The older you get, the more you learn, it's probably best that you mind your own business. Like, it's probably best, like, the less you know about other people's stuff, other people's affairs, other people's relationships. Like, it, it's probably best that you mind your own business. Like, it's actually safer that way. Um, there's more peace that way. Um, and it, it's interesting because, like, as crazy as it sounds, like, do you always find yourself in trouble sometimes when you're being nosy, when you're eavesdropping? Um, like I've been seeing, like it's circling around, like people not even checking each other's phones no more. It's like, listen, it's best that I just, I just mind my own business. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to get hurt. Um, like I'm in this whole mode, like nothing's gonna take us to the hospital. So honestly, respectfully, like if it's not my business, I don't want to know. Like uh, Thanos said in a Marvel movie, he said uh, to Tony Stark. He's like, oh, you know who I am? He said, yeah, you're not the only one cursed with knowledge. And the reason why that's important to me, because when I was young, I used to always say, like, a lot of people want knowledge. A lot of people want to know things. A lot of people like to be in the know. A lot of people sometimes have the fear of missing out. Some people, you know, they just like to be in other people's business. But there's a, there's a pain that comes with knowing a lot. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you're better off sometimes just not knowing. Um, and if you need to know... You just need it to know. But it, it's, it's, it's better that sometimes you don't know. And I, I love this scripture. Like, it talks about how wisdom, it also basically comes with grief. Sometimes the knowledge you receive or sometimes the understanding behind certain things you receive can really cause you great grief. Um, and it doesn't mean we want to be ignorant. Because the Bible says, see, God's people are destroyed by their lack of knowledge. So there's things that you ought to know. But when it's none of your business... That's a beautiful sign that you should probably just mind your own. That's simple. Um, 